We're back for another great episode of PFREI. I'm your host, Fuquan Bilal. Oh, it feels good to be back, guys. I know we we taken a, a break from doing the podcast. It's probably been about 10 months, and now we reschedule. We got over 100 episodes, but we had to focus on things that, not that you guys are not important, but we had to focus on higher priorities like family and business. And, uh, you know, do we have to find time to come back and add value? So we're here back again. Uh, we have Makai Johnson. Makai has been in real estate since 2014. Um, I got questions about that. Uh, he started in 2014. And, and from 2014 to 2020, he sold a half a million dollars in real estate volume. He went on to serve as the vice president of professional development for a real estate brokerage and is now in the business uh, and now is now the business development manager of 8020 REI. That's um, right. util utilizing a people centered vision of, of business, Makai helps you connect the community of your people to hope to hope to serve most. Right. Did I say that right? I'll be butchering people video uh, bios. Right. So no. using their data, um, his team helped you to build the roadmap to how to communicate. And it says, you know, guys. I need to write that simpler. <laughs> so what would, I, I butcher everybody no worries man anyway. no yeah. worries i got a short form yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Help you get more deals by being intentional about your data that's our uh that's what 8020 does yeah we're going to get into that um you know how the service that you guys provide and um want to go back to that i saw 2014 that's the first thing that stuck out to me um especially in the climate that we're in and it's interesting to see people who started after 2008 my mind is what are they thinking right now? And they haven't seen the last downturn. They haven't been through it. Like it's been all rosy. Yeah. And uh, th their biggest scare probably was COVID, but that turned around in a few months and it was like, Oh, this is great. So yeah. What, give me a take on that. Um, you know, starting in 2014, I yeah. know you heard about the last recession, but how, I did how it hit you now. Yeah, so um, I actually got started on a foreclosure team in 2014. So I was, I would came in as a real estate agent, and uh, got really into that world. And honestly, how I view these markets, these ones make me excited because mm -hmm. this is when the professionals show up. The data shows that more customers than normal are going to be available, but what they need is a professional investor that knows how to solve their problems on that deep granular level. Mm. And that's what we help you do. So that's how I view it. It gives you that chance, right? The best show up. Golf's my favorite sport. And uh, the best love the majors. Give me the hardest venue you got. I'll practice hard enough to, to do well. And so that's how we approach it is we're excited. We're ready to show up and uh, help the customers that really need us. Yeah, that's awesome, man. It's is this is your time to shine, basically, it you know, is. in that adversity. So tell us a little bit more about 8020 REI and what value do you guys bring to the market? Yeah, so what we do, like I said earlier, we help you be intentional about your data, which gets you more deals. And what that means is, is one of Jesus's quotes is not just data, it's what you do with it. We provide you not just with a list, but with a roadmap of, of how to consistently execute on it. That's kind of one of the biggest problems I see in my demos. Mm. Now, when you say consistently execute, you mean where there's going to be um, a, a dial, it's going to be a text, it's going to be a ringless voicemail. I mean, and people are not probably doing ringless voicemails anymore, but you're saying you get the roadmap on how to execute with the list that you provide, like which exactly. the best way to, to monetize it? Exactly. So we provide up to three lists, direct mail, cold call, and SMS. And with each list, we're really good at data. So we're, we're, that's what we are dedicate ourselves to. We have a team of 14 engineers that we dig in deep and try to, what we predict are sellers likely to sell at a discount. And we're really good at it. What we're also good at is getting you in front of them at the right time, layering your communication intentionally, getting you into 30, 40, 50 touches which gives you the chance to be there when they need you. Mm. Now, how, how is it now in this market? Um, yeah, basically, you guys have must have some sort of challenge when you have the people who you have this product and service for where interest rates are high and they can't execute their plan. 
um, the way they want because maybe the lender have a lender issue. So now they have to probably create some type of creative finance structure. You know, your your job is to get that lead in front of them and how to execute on it. Then they have to come up with with the rest. So exactly. what challenges are you guys having now with being able to because it's a mindset shift for some people who's who's have services with you guys. I'm pretty sure things have slowed down. So how is that affecting what you guys are doing in this current market? I mean, because this is the market you want to be in the market you guys thriving because there's going to be an abundance of more. Uh, uh, it's now before the dispo side was easy. The acquisition shot was hard. Now it's flipped. Acquisitions are going to be easier because it's going to be an abundance of, of opportunity. And this will, you know, it's going to be tougher because it's going to be so much inventory out. So how are you guys helping helping people to navigate through this current market? Well, the way our product's set up, one, it's with limited exclusivity. So we have the opportunity to choose who we're going to work with in any market. And there is a level of fit to our product. Um, so that's what we really dig into on the demo. And that's with me is really understanding who you are, what you got going on, what your, what your strategy is, and if we align with it. Um, one thing that we're really getting intentional about at 8020 right now is going in education mode. After I've been with the company for six months uh, and bringing, again, my my experience with real estate and, it, and I've been doing all the demos and I've had conversation after conversation, really getting to dig in to understand how does our product really connect? Where does it connect in your world? How can we educate you better on how to use it so that I say your so your pipeline's on purpose? Most investors have a real elaborate scheme for how they deal with a prospect once it becomes a lead. There's, there's a never-ending follow-up until they say stop. That's how intentional we are about uh, an entire data set. We treat everyone the same. Because to me, again, my experience taught, and this kind of leads into your the passion for real estate, home is important. When, when it's every, every person on that list, that's a human being. And and life, they're not there by mistake, and life's hard. Um, I've I've been on that list. I know what it takes to to get those calls, and I know what life is like when that's happening. And I I care about every one of those people. Um, and that's what we educate on. Hey, that they're, they're not they're not not answering because they don't need you. Most of them don't know what to do. Most of them are scared. Um, a lot of people don't answer right up front because the typical method is just call all at once, mail all at once. But most most people's setups don't get past eight touches and anything before eight, spray and pray. Mm, so spray and pray, yeah. We dig into that with you to make sure that you're going to be there long enough to, to be there when they need you. And that's the thing. Stick it out. They're not on that list by mistake. Until they're not there, they need you. And that's how we view that. And we keep getting you in front of them li across your list by channel and time. Now, these lists are any residential, uh, one through four family. Do you guys do any multifamily stuff to mom and pops? Are you guys, we, have you guys branched out to that yet? So our system with our setup, you own all the data in your market, which allows us to, you have a buyer's list with us because you own all the data. So what a lot of companies are finding value with us is they own all the buyers. So we built a way for them to see them inside the data that they own. So on your dispo side, we can really help there. On your, um, on the full setup side, we have, I'm sorry, man, what was that question? I no, would say so that. Multi multifamily. So you're, yeah, you're, so commercial multifamily, because yeah, you yeah. own it all, we can build a way to find it for you. And yeah. we dig into that with you in your onboarding call. What yeah, that would, that you would want be, us to find? Yeah, that would pretty much be, um, property type right yeah. the owner mm -hmm. property type um, because you have some some of those guys they won't have pain points the only pain point is they, they want to sell because they've owned it for 20 years they're not in exactly. foreclosure they don't have judgments and you know maybe they're getting divorced but um the but the main pain points you usually see um on a residential side you don't really see too much of that in in commercial you see some of it in multifamily commercial but yeah. not as much as you see in residential no commercial is math method I love commercial. I did a little bit of it as an agent. Um, I like how it's no emotion. It's a it's a very it's a numbers and cents. How do you make the deal work? Let's be like the way the deal works. It's a very 
It's much different. You're absolutely right. Uh, we can get you in front of the people, but how we build that buy box with you, you're you're involved, right? Mm. Uh, that's again in our onboarding process. We dig in with you for a minute and say, okay, what is it you want to find? What's the what's the use code? We 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 try to set it up for you so that it'll come with it every month with the list that we provide. Now, is this a monthly subscription? So this to this to build a roadmap to this so people can get a visual yeah. on it. So I meet with you, I consult with you, you figure out what our what our goals are, you kind of map out a success plan from there, and then you work with us uh continuously to try to figure out, you know, tweak the roadmap, make sure everything's going right to constantly feed us leads. And we are the uh the owner of that data in that area we're exclusive and basically you, you're sort of like our partners trying to just generating leads for us um to make it successful we yeah. don't generate the leads okay. so we provide the list so what you need to be able to do with our list you need to be able to skip trace it and then execute it, Got it. and that's why i said it's a certain level of my usual customer they've been in business a minimum of three years they're doing about 60 deals a year is, is when what our promise, we can keep our promise, which is maximize your ROI on all your outbound marketing. But there's a certain level of fire you need to build for us to be able to do that, right? I need you to trust your team. You, if, if, cause if there's a bottleneck there, we will expose it. And if leads are falling through, I'm not keeping my promise. And so that's what we try to figure out. I'd look for fit on what's your approach to real estate, your strategy, what's your team look like, and then what's your budget look like. And then we go from there and determine mm. what, when is, is now the, I live by this statement, the right thing at the wrong time is still the wrong thing. The right thing at the right time, that's life changing. So how do we make sure we're on the right side of that? And, and it's kind of a process. And I love to, I love to work with them. I love to work with investors and dig in and, and see where they're going, what they're trying to build. We take it serious, participate in other people's dreams. Yeah, this is this is awesome. What I'm hearing is there's two types of lists that I can get out of this. One can be an acquisition list and one can be a disposition list also, because if, if I own this area and you provide a list, I can also find buyers like me in the same area where I can create a dispo list and a marketing to them. Hey, and then Exactly. You know, get that okay, I got you. And I it comes you. with targeted messaging. So when you contact our list, you know exactly what to say to them, depending on where in the conversation you are. So right now, the way, the way you start a conversation with someone that needs you right now is different than someone that needs to sell in about 180 days. And we, we layer for that. Now, is this in a system that you provide or is this customized in my system, like a Podio or Zoho or something like that? Or is it like a log into a platform that you have that your list, the list you provide is there and you guys do that custom text message to them or uh, the mailers and all that? How does that work? So you get access to our system, which is a basically a storage system for you to put all your data. Because a lot of our users, they have, they have ways where they go get count data directly from their county. And that's valuable to what we do. Every little data point adjusts what we do, which adjusts how you talk to that customer. So what we do is we have a system where you can see all your data anytime. You, you can do whatever you want with it, export it, stack it, do whatever you want, send it out of the system. So you get all the data, you get our software. What you also get is up to three lists, one per channel per month. So if it's a new list each month where we are managing who's on the list every month. So all you need to manage is, is your cold call, your text and your direct mailer, are they following the instructions we send with each list? Because that's where we used to take you all the way to lead. We were a texting and a call center uh, prior to January of this year. And that's where we learned cadence, when and how to talk to people. And we were able to, to deliver for people in a way that fit with what they were going through. And so that's what we help you do so that your pipeline's intentional. Hmm. And how long do you see a company once they on board with you guys um, have success? Is, does it take like a certain amount of months to kind of go through the process, three, six, nine months to kind of build that list up and start really uh, building some traction? What's, what's the average time that you, you see the company work with? So depending on your market, you could get results right away, right? We The results we really care about 
are 180 days away. We get our best reporting once you've been through the cycle twice. By a, on, from Z, day zero to day 180, you will have contacted everyone totally on your list at least two times in the way we set you up. So after that, anyone in that section could be a right now seller. The next six months really tell us how well you're, how well it continues to go. Because now people could turn at any time, right? What we're trying to do is get you off that roller coaster. You can plug people in on purpose, knowing that this call isn't to get a contract. This one's just to start a conversation. Oh, but now I'm on call 20 and this one's for a contract. This one might work, right? But I'm layering it all because each touch is important. We're just trying to get to the one where they answer. So it's, 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 you never stop. It's the junkyard dog mentality. You just gnaw mm-hmm. and gnaw and gnaw until they tell you don't or they sell the house. Got it, got it, got it. It's just a lot of great information, man. Yeah, let's let's get some website information going, information okay. how people can contact you. We can add yeah. some value to them. 8020rei.com. You'll see a button right there. Claim your market. Click that. It'll schedule a demo right on my calendar. We'll get together, talk about what you got going on, where you're at, and see what we can do. I love it. Claim your market, guys. Don't wait. Somebody else going to get it. Go ahead to Come the on. site. 8020rei.com. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. You added a lot of value to the to the show. And um, you know, you guys can check us out. Another great episode of PFREI. I'm your host, Fuquan Bilal. And uh, you can check us out on YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment. Check us out also on all the other stations where you can find a podcast channel. If you want to podcast binge, you can go to pfrei.co. That's our website. And uh, watch all the podcasts we've done so far. We got over 100 episodes, a lot of great value. Um, and I just love it. Every time I interview somebody on a podcast, I learn stuff, uh, learn more ways of, of how to level up my business, make connections. So I appreciate you coming on the show today and adding value, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate the opportunity, Fuquan. And awesome. the only thing I got to say is just a long eye, Micah. Oh, Micah. Yeah. All right. Micah. Uh, hey. I grew up with the name. I will accept your version versus a lot of the ones I've got, my friends. So I'm, no I'm, worry. I'm glad you. I'm glad you corrected me, and and I I don't feel sorry for you because my name is Fuquan. And... <laughs> exactly, man. Right. That's why I, I used to do it earlier. I just feel scary. <laughs> All right, Micah. Appreciate it, bro. Um, you guys Thanks. have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, man. Appreciate you. You too. Have a great day. 